Biden administration has resumed leasing out federal lands for oil and gas development, despite campaign pledges to end the practice entirely. It's a move aimed at curbing surging prices for gas, heating and electricity. But environmental groups say it could be disastrous for the fight against climate change. Joining us with more on this is Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman. Um, and Rick, basically, your argument is that this move and some of the other moves that the administration has made are pleasing no one. Right. And I'm not sure they're going to do Biden any good. I was used to hearing uh, environmental groups and climate activists blast President Trump, who was a big friend of the fossil fuel industry. But now they're saying things about Biden. It sounds like they are talking about Trump. And let's remember, Biden came into office with the most aggressive plan of any president ever to transition away from carbon uh, toward renewables. And yet uh, climate groups are calling this new policy reckless and saying he's wreaking destruction on the environment. And what he did, all he did was say he is going to open some federal land to drilling leases. It's going to be a lot less land than he could have opened. And he's also uh, increasing the royalty rate that drilling companies have to pay by 50 percent. So you'd think that that would placate the environmental groups, but it's not. And in the meanwhile, Biden is trying to do something to get the price of oil and gasoline down. Uh, but uh, industry groups say it's not likely to have that effect either because it's just not enough and it's not going to make any change anytime soon. We're talking about projects that take months and years to develop. So Biden seems stuck uh, pissing off uh, the environmental groups. At the same time, he's not going to do much to lower gas prices. So uh, there's no win. This is, just seems like a lose-lose situation he's in. Uh, to your point, it seems silly that he did this, considering that it, it takes a long time to do these projects. So what do you think was the most, I mean, is it just sort of a, a political move? And isn't it awfully transparent if that's the case? It's just like, who's advising him on this stuff? Yeah, it's weird. Um, so Biden wants to be able to show voters that he is trying to do something and yet this latest move to decide, yes, I am going to allow leasing, some leasing on federal land, they announced this um, late in the day on uh, Good Friday, you know, right before a holiday weekend, which is what you do when you want to bury the news and you don't want anybody to notice. So Biden, it's like he's trying to say, I'm doing a little bit something, but he really just wants to whisper it to voters. And he and he <laughs> and he wants other voters not to notice. So obviously there are, you know, there are many members within his own party that say, Let's ban all new drilling. Let's do everything we possibly can to get rid of fossil fuels. What nobody is willing to uh, acknowledge, however, is if you do that, you are just going to raise prices by a lot. You're going to put a real pinch on consumers. So we're sort of outing what I think is the dirty little secret of this aggressive plan to move over to clean energy as fast as possible, which is somewhere along that pathway. If you do it this way, if you do it really abruptly or as fast as you can, you're going to raise prices uh, on the types of fuel we need today to heat our homes and gas up our cars. And voters are going to say, hey, I'm not in for this. Hey, Rick, I've been following your inflation coverage uh, extensively uh, the past month or so, and, and you really get the sense that President Biden is, is not out in front, is not coming off as like an inflation fighter. Is that an opportunity for Republicans? Because I don't hear them out there aggressively saying, hey, we, we can help lower inflation. We can bring down prices at the pump. Oh, it's a huge opportunity for Republicans. And if inflation stays around where it is for the next couple of months, um, I think the Democrats are toast in the midterm elections. And the Republicans don't have to mount a coherent argument to say, here's what we would be doing to uh, to lower inflation. All they have to do is basically let voters know, hey, uh, inflation is painfully high and, Biden's in and Biden and the Democrats are in charge. So take it out on them uh, in November at the elections, which is which is what voters will do if inflation rem remains this high for uh, a few more months. There's some chance inflation is going to come down, but it may not come down fast enough by the time voters make up their mind to help out uh, Biden and his fellow Democrats in November. Yahoo Finance Senior Columnist Rick Newman, always good to get your take.